Well, thanks very much, Dwayne. Back here at the station, had we gone just another two hours, we would have made it tonight, but unfortunately, nature wasn't to let it be that way for this historic first night of the Cubs uh, playing at night. You can see the storms blowing up in these big colorized areas, and this is what has sailed through the area, producing wind gusts of 55 miles an hour in many locations. We've had reports of three-inch diameter hail in eastern Iowa, and rainfall amounts of one to three inches are the, just the early reports that are in, and it looks like this may keep up for a while. As you can see, it extends westward into Iowa. In fact, let's check the radar for you. This is not very encouraging. Uh, solid precipitation. The darker areas embedded here are the heavier rains. You have to go all the way back uh, the east of Galena and about Moline to get out of this. And even back behind that, there are some scattered rains. Up close, again, the heaviest cells. This is all moving very slowly east-southeastward. O'Hare Field uh, turned the rain off briefly this evening, but it's back on and heavy again and uh, at least the temperatures have dropped. I guess that's the only positive thing we can say about it. Here's the weather map. There was a little wave that went through with a couple of showers this morning. Our hope had been this would all hold off to midnight, but instead of this little bubble of high pressure coming in and saving us, uh, what happened was moisture hit this wave, the wave came at us, and in came the showers and all, which will probably reoccur uh, tomorrow afternoon after lasting much of the night and tapering off in the morning hours tomorrow. So this wave may come at us again tomorrow night and do the same thing to us, at least a possibility. But of course, a later forecast will be able to tell you more on that. Again, uh, looks like rain will continue for the time being. We keep looking for a hole in it, and fellas uh, back at the ballpark will keep our eyes on that. We're going to take a break now, and we'll be back to Wrigley Field in just a moment. 